Hello, fourth grade. Did you watch the Daytona 500 on Sunday? That race is the most prestigious NASCAR race of the year. Today, we'll make our own Daytona 500 in scratch. Keep watching to learn how. On the home page, slide down to technology. Click technology. On the online tech page, slide down and click on fourth grade. Click fourth grade. This week's Google Classroom assignment says programming in scratch, the Daytona 500. Can you create your own Daytona 500 racing game? Continue to watch this video and learn how to code the Daytona 500, the most prestigious race on the NASCAR calendar. Click the link. Can you code to race the cars around the Daytona track? Click the button that says see inside. Click see inside. This is the Scratch Daytona 500 racetrack. What I've done is I've created nine cars for you to choose from. Pick a car to code for. Down at the bottom, choose your car. Move your car to the start line. Click and hold and drag. If you'd like to make your car smaller, click the size and change the size. I changed my size to size 15. Click and hold and move it to the start line. Now we're ready to code. We want to see how fast we can make it around the track. So we're going to use the clock. Go to events. Click and hold on when the flag is clicked. Now go to variables. I've already coded the clock for us. Drag over set clock to zero. Connect it to when the flag is clicked. We want the clock to go up every second. Go to the forever blocks. That's under control. Click and hold the forever block. Drag it over and connect it underneath set clock to zero. Now pull over a wait one second. Add it to the forever block. Remember, it goes inside. Now, let's go back to variables. Drag over change clock by one. Click and hold change clock by one and put it inside the forever block. We're saying when the flag is clicked, Set the clock to zero, then forever, wait a second, then change the clock by one. Let's try it out. Click the flag. Nice. It'll time us as we race around the track today. Click the stop sign. Now let's code for the up, down, left and right arrow keys. Do you remember this from last week? Go to events. Pull over when the space key is pressed. But we want the up arrow key. Now go to the control blocks. We want a repeat until. Find the repeat until and click and hold and drag it over and connect it. Next, we need the not. Go to operators. Pull over the word not. This goes inside the diamond. 
we have when the up arrow key is pressed, repeat until not. Now let's go to sensing. Click and hold key space pressed. Put it inside the knot. Remember to change the space to the up arrow key. Now go to motion. Click move 10 steps and drag it inside the repeat until. Change move 10 steps to one step. This will allow my car to move forward when I hit the up arrow key. Let's try it out. Uh oh, my car goes backwards. To fix it, we can change move one step to a minus one step. The minus is beside the zero at the top of your keyboard. Change one step to minus one step. Now click the up arrow key. Now my car goes forward. Now that my car goes forward, let me show you a shortcut. What we want to do is we're going to duplicate the code. Put your mouse on the word when. Now take two fingers and tap on your mouse pad. You should see the word duplicate. This is going to duplicate the code. Click and hold and drag your code down. This is the same code that we just got done writing, but now we want to change it. Change the up arrow to the down arrow. Remember, we have to do that again in the blue section of the code. Change it to the down arrow. Now we want to change the move minus one step to one step. That will allow us to go backwards. Your car should now go forward and backwards. Let's continue on. Let's duplicate the code. Put your mouse on the word when. Two finger tap. Duplicate. Move your code over. Change the down arrow to right arrow. In the blue section, again, pull down on the white down triangle and change it to right arrow. We do need to get rid of the move one step. We don't need this code when we turn. Click and hold and drag and throw it away. Now go up to turn. Make sure you're turning to the right. Put it into the code. Turn right. Let's change this to five degrees. Now, when the right arrow is clicked, I can turn five degrees. Duplicate the code once again. Go to the word when. Two finger tap. Duplicate. Move your code. We need to change the right arrow to left arrow. When we change the event, we also have to change the sensing block. Change it to left arrow. Click and hold and drag. Turn five degrees to the right and throw it away. Click and hold and drag, turn to the left 15 degrees and put it into our code. Change it to five degrees. Look at your code. Up arrow should match up arrow. And remember, we have to move backwards one step. Down arrow, down arrow, one step. Right arrow, right arrow, turning right five degrees. Last one, when you turn left, we want to make sure that we turn left in the sensing block and turn left five degrees. Your car should now move forward, back, 
left, and right. There's one other code I want to write, and that is making sure whenever I hit the flag, my car is on the starting lineup. Go to Events. Drag off another when the flag is clicked. Go to Motion. Find the Go to X Y block. We used this last week. Click and hold and drag. When I click the flag now, my character will go to that space. One other thing. My car's direction is facing a negative 55 degrees. I want to go to point in direction and connect it to when the flag is clicked. Go to X and Y location. Only point in direction, I need to change to match the direction that it's in right now. That's a minus 55. Then hit enter. I think we're ready to begin. Check out my code. Make sure it matches your code. When I click the flag, my character is going to go to the starting lineup. The clock will start. I need to get my character all the way around the track to see how long it takes me. Are you ready? Set. Go. Make sure you stay on the track. And stop. How long did it take you to get around the track? It took me 36 seconds. Can you beat that? Now, make your car go faster. Change the move minus one step to maybe a minus two steps or a minus three steps. Make sure you change the code in the down arrow as well. See how fast you can make it around your Daytona racetrack. Good luck with this week's assignment, and I'll see you next time.